Hi friends, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks so much for being here today. I just got my monthly paper pumpkin kit in the mail the other day. It is so cute. I have had a lot of fun starting to create with it and I wanted to share some things with you for what you can do with this kit and some alternative ideas. So let's take a look. Here you can see many of the things that came in this month's kit. It's called Good Things Come in Small Packages and the reason for the name is this kit is designed to make little tiny gift boxes that are perfect for gift cards or other small treats. So here you can see some of them on the instruction sheet for this month. And I wanna go through, show you some things, show you a simple way to put the boxes together. And I'm gonna show you lots of ways to use these items in other ways besides the little gift boxes. I'm sure many of you do give some gift cards, but if you don't give a lot of gift cards, something that was really helpful for me is uh, this kit of cards. It was made to coordinate with this month's kit. This is called Good Things Cards and Envelopes, and it is available for ordering. I'll mention right now while, while I'm thinking about it, ordering number 163134 to make it easy to find. So when you, you can make the little gift boxes if you want. If not, you can either use some cardstock. You have to make card bases to turn these into cards or get that kit that I just mentioned. So uh, I love that this is the stamp set. All my stamps are mounted on blocks over here, but I love the themes of these because we have baby, we have graduation, we have wedding and birthday as well, which is fantastic. Uh, you'll see what I have done here in just a second with some of these. So these came with tons of die cuts, lots and lots of die cuts these cute little pre-printed cards. And then these two pieces are the box bases and the pieces made to wrap around the boxes. So let me show you those real quick. Let's take a gift box and I'll show you how to put one of these together and how to add the little sheet that goes right around it. So sometimes when you're folding up boxes, it may take a minute to figure out how to do these. I will mention, if you haven't heard this, the kit instructions always have a little QR code on them that if you point your, that little funny code, that little square, circle square code with the funny dots on it, uh, if you point your phone at it, you don't have to take a picture but it will ask you if you want to go to the website, tell it yes, and you'll be able to go watch a video with how to, how to complete the kit, and I'll show how to put the boxes together. Here's how I like to do it. I fold this little front flap back, and I like to fold this in with these two little flaps as well. Once I have all four little flaps here, fold this piece up and over, and it will latch into the little slot down there in the bottom. And the box is basically assembled at this point. So then these pieces are made to wrap around them. And you can use a piece of tape. Now you may notice my tape is, actually I just ran out of tape. Uh, you can use the tape that came in your kit So what I did, I wrapped this around loosely. I didn't want to make it really tight, uh, just a little bit loose. And that way these can be slid on and off. And I'll put that part with the seam on the bottom side. So that way, if you want to make these up before you're ready to put something in them, you can slide that piece off, put your treat or your gift card inside and put it back together. Okay. Now let me show you a couple of ways to use these treat boxes in other ways. Use these bases. Now, of course, you can always cut these pieces. Uh, I'm going to show you a lot of ways that I cut these wrapper pieces into sections on those score lines where they are and then use them on cards. You can do the same thing with these box bases or you can do, I, I'm gonna show you two ways here. You can fold these into little pockets and use them on cards or use them in some other ways. So 
Let's look at this one first. I took a box base and I'll grab one here so you can see what it looked like when I started. And I cut off all of the extra flaps around the edges except for one flap here and one flap here where those uh, little extra, that extra little slot is. I left just one flap on each side here and cut the rest of the pieces off. Now what I wanna do is score down this thin strip here in the center that has the score lines around it. I wanna score approximately down the center of that and you can eyeball this. And now I want to put some tape and this is where I found I had a little bit better luck if I used my wide tape for, for this particular purpose. For the regular boxes, that thin tape that comes with the kit is fine. This puts a little extra pressure on them and I had better luck with my wider tape. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is fold, I've got three score lines here. I'm gonna fold them back and forth so that I end up with a little piece down here that is expandable basically. Okay, see that? And I am going to fold these pieces in and fold this closed and we end up with a cute little pocket. Okay, so fold the flaps. Now I'm gonna fold this expandable part at the bottom up and try and line all this up before I press it all down in place. Okay. And what you'll find with these is one side is probably going to look a little more finished than the other. So you can use the finished looking side for your project. So this one that I just showed you, this creates a really tight pocket. Let me show you one way to use this. And here is a card I created with these pieces. And I put that pocket on the front. Now you can put a gift card inside or you could put like a special note. You could put an extra little piece just with a message on it that can be pulled out. Uh, you can use these little pockets for things like tea bags or with this next one I'm gonna show you, you could put like a, a narrow candy bar, like a Ghirardelli square in it. So let me show you the second way to create these where you end up with a pocket that is just a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, and you can fit a little bit more inside. So here you can see on this one, I trimmed off this top flap. I trimmed off these two little edge flaps here, and I trimmed off this flap down here at the bottom. That's how I got this shape. I scored down the center of this piece, just like I showed you on that last one. And I am going to add some tape. We'll add the tape onto this flap both of these flaps and we'll fold these, loosen up all these score lines. These ones on the side, I'm gonna fold all the way in and then fold that other piece back. So all the way in and then fold that other piece halfway back. Let's remove the tape. The wonder of videos is if you need to see that again or you need to see that 10 more times, you can stop and pause and rewatch it. And I need to make sure I get these flaps fold in so that they line up with these flaps right here and I get it all sealed shut. Okay, so with this one, I get a little bit bigger pocket. Now, if I stick my finger in here to expand this, you can see there's a decent amount of space here, so it can be squished down, it can be put on a card or laid on a scrapbook page to hold some memorabilia, or you can expand it, put like a candy bar or something like that in it, like I mentioned, okay? I think a fun idea for some of these pockets is, I love little organizers for my craft space or my desk. Uh, this one is not expandable, but imagine if you put several of these together, maybe three or four or 10, and they're nice little pockets for organizing 
like paper scraps or small embellishments, anything small that you need a space for and you're not quite sure what to do with it. These, if, if you just attach several of these together, they would make a handy little organizer for that. Okay, let's look at my other card samples that I created using the pieces from this kit. And like I said, I love the greetings. These are perfect for special occasions, which are the ones that I usually run out of cards for. I'm not great at having a lot of graduation or wedding or baby cards in my collection. So uh, the next three that you'll see are for that purpose. So the background of all of these cards was created with some of these pieces. Now these came in the different colors and the different themes and I was very pleasantly surprised when I flipped them over and they were printed on both sides. So what I did, I cut on the score lines and I don't know if you can see these here, uh, but there are four score lines on each piece. So I used my trimmer, I cut on those lines and I ended up with five from each of these five small pieces that I could use on the backgrounds. So for this one, I just flipped one of the pieces over to get the two different designs. And then I stamped the tag and added the cute little bow. Here is a really cute wedding card. I love the little with love stamp with the heart. So I stamped that in the background, stamped congrats, cheers to forever. Uh, again, I used those pieces I'd cut apart in the background and then the cute little die cuts for the tag that came prepared. Here's a really simple graduation card that I used three of those pieces in the background. I, th this piece I believe actually was meant for baby, the little moon and the stars, but I thought it was perfect for graduation as well. Shoot, you know, shoot for the moon. Uh, so I used that one on this card with the little die cut. And what I had left after I'd made several of these cards with those pieces I'd cut, so I cut all of these apart, I ended up with several of these thin little strips. I thought, oh, well that would make a cute background for a card. So I lined up several of them diagonally here, stamped Oh Baby in the background a few times, and then made this piece that says, good things come in small packages. So. These are several neat card ideas for what you can do with this kit. I hope you enjoyed seeing these. If you're interested in Paper Pumpkin, you can use the link in the video description below to learn more. It's a great program. It's really affordable for what you get every month. Enjoy this kit. Sign up for next month's kit. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.